That's GM black right there. That's a really nice color and it definitely has a beautiful gloss with that 200 on it. So black's definitely one of my favorite colors. So if I don't do a candy, it's definitely gonna be black, but I'm definitely veering towards the candy. Welcome back to the channel and uh, today's video is on 218 Attitude Black. We already shot the hood, fender and bumper and it's over in the other booth and I had to do some cutting on it and this whole side. So it's a big job. Let's shoot this one here with the 3M gun and then we're going to clear it with the DV1. So stay tuned. So here's the hood. It's all sprayed, dried and baked. I did those black parts that you seen earlier before the uh, body of that car because they needed it. So um, I was spraying these first over here. They came out nice, Attitude Black. And this was a new fender, new bumper, and a new hood. So we're going to go over to the other side and shoot that one. Stay tuned, guys. So it's all sealed up and uh, we'll be putting one coat of the 218 on and then a drop coat. And that's why I love this sealer because it's a true black sealer. To any of you guys that are new uh, to the channel, this is the Ultra 9K system with the P30B black. So beautiful product and top of the line stuff. So we're going to let this set up and then we'll be putting on our 218 black with one coat and then drop, come back and clear it. All right, so that's one coat. We'll let that set up and then we'll put our drop on it and that'll be the end of this one. We'll be clearing it with the DV1. <clears throat> I also forgot to tell you guys, I went ahead and ordered that um, UK01, the brandy wine, so I can start doing some test panels on how I want that thing to look. I want to make sure I got the right base and I want to make sure it's going to look the way that I want because I want it to have a certain glow to it. So I want it dark, but I don't want it too dark. So we're going to see what we can do with that. I got it coming. Hopefully it'll be here soon. And this weekend, I'm going to start taking apart the Cutlass and uh, start checking it out. So. Hope you guys are uh, interested in that one too, because I think it'll be really nice to see a real candy on that car. It should really pop with all those cool body lines and round uh, body panels it has. So let's let this dry a minute and we'll come back in and drop it and then clear it with the DV1. And like I said before, I'm really looking forward to shooting that, that, that car with the uh, DV1. So I'm gonna use the DV1 base gun for the base and then I'll use the uh, DV1 clear for the candy and the actual clear coat. Cause that UK candy is the same consistency as a regular clear coat. It's hardened and everything. So you gotta get that stuff to break up. And I think the DV1 will do it really good. And I'm gonna use the C1 on it when I do it. So I want it slick and uh, it's got to come out nice so let's let this dry a minute we'll come back and drop it and clear it and i don't know if i ever showed you guys this uh kit i just bought this the vilbis um cleaning kit that's the part number down there but it's pretty cool kit comes with everything you need to clean the gun really good so it's got all the tips to clean out the fluid cap to clean out the horns the air horns on the gun, a nice brush, another type of brush here, and then it's got this here that you put the uh, needles in, and then another brush kit. <clears throat> Nothing special, but 
Just thought I'd show you that for the Vilbus. They got a little gun cleaning kit. If anybody's looking for a kit, seems to be pretty good. to coat two. So let's put coat two on it and see what it looks like. So that job came out nice and clean and that's 218 and it's one of the quickest colors because you can put one coat on and a drop over that black sealer so came out clean and nice hope you guys liked it and make sure you stay tuned to this weekend's video because i'm going to be tearing apart the cutlass and getting it involved in what we're going to end up doing to that one so we'll see what we find we'll see what we got to do and uh, we'll go over that one so stay tuned and see you next time